What's good, y'all? It's the Duma Shots React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American reaction. So excited about this video. If you're new to us, and, and we're new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit that, that subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 200k. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family without further ado. Let's get into the video. Let's get it. 25, 21. Sollen wir mit euch zusammen den Verkehr runterbremsen? So verstanden. Seid ihr bereit? Let's get it. Let's get it. Yo, we gotta mention it though, bro. The Alabama is hella fast. I can only imagine how fast the law gets to go. <laughs> I'm just saying, because that's like. You know, He say, are you ready? Like we in a rally call. Mm. Oh, you remember them days? Mm -hmm. Normally I do everything to avoid the police, but today I'm riding along. Did you know that the German Autobahn has its own police force? Tillman Hartung, seen here on the left, and Alex Lattendorf work as Autobahn police officers. They monitor traffic on a 220 kilometer stretch of highway in the German state of Hessen. And this is the car they use, a BMW 530 diesel with 265 horsepower. They also carry guns and wear bulletproof vests. So how dangerous is their job? Gefährlich wird es natürlich immer, wenn wir auf der Autobahn das Fahrzeug verlassen müssen. Violence is not an issue for you. Like having to use your guns, you're not afraid of drivers being armed with weapons. These aren't necessarily your concerns. Also in Deutschland müssen wir zum Glück nicht bei jeder Verkehrskontrolle damit rechnen, dass jemand eine Schusswaffe zieht. Ähm, wir sind natürlich dafür trainiert, immer zu zweit Verkehrssicherheit äh, zu schaffen. Wir machen auch Kontrollen immer zu zweit. Das ist anders wie in Amerika. We drive through what the Germans call a Rettungsgasse, or a special emergency lane made by drivers on the Autobahn. Luckily, only cars were totaled. Remarkably, the drivers had only minor injuries. Können wir euch irgendwas noch helfen? Ja, eigentlich nicht. Dann hat sich das alles aufgestaut, alle haben gebremst, alle nicht. Ja, alles klar. In the U.S., as you may know, the U.S. Highway Patrol is also responsible for highway safety. However, they do control speed as well. Um, yeah. And often is the case they hide behind bridges, as I know from personal experience. Oh, she oh knows. She, that's why she, she said I'd be trying to avoid them. Okay, I, I knew something was going to click in this video. Okay, I understand her comment. Listen, I think every American, every American, <clears throat> has a story about a police hiding. Mm. Baby, especially when you come to the South. I always got to tell y'all about the South because that's our personal experiences, Man, right? Look. But when you come to the South and you're on our highways and they're hiding, like, bruh. the the overpass is right here and they're on the hill. Because what you doing up so there, bro? So you can't see them. <laughs> Backed up the So you speeding, they're going to come rushing down that hill onto Man. the highway. OMG. Mm. I remember this one time, y'all. I was in college, right? Oh, I thought you were going to talk about the Florida story. What happened in Florida? On our way to Florida. It was dark. We'll go ahead, go that, was, that was back. That was actually a good story. Yeah. I mean, he scared me, but that was a good one. But I was beaten. I was. Oh, no, I'm not about to incriminate myself on this video. Never mind. Girl, you keep going. You, I'm not doing that. Well, I'll tell it. She was speeding. And she, no, I'm joking. <laughs> so, so I was going to say I wasn't the first one in line. You know, they go after the first one in line. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. Mm, so, see, <laughs> got to know what you're doing. He was trying to get but, over. Uh, we had like this one. Move. We had this one time we was driving, and uh, it was really dark, and we didn't know we had a cop behind us he must have drove with his lights off or what yeah, but yeah. dude randomly popped up with his lights on we was like how long we been driving before we realized we had somebody behind us right and he put us over and he literally came to us and said i'm just checking on y'all make sure y'all okay and safe because y'all the only ones on the road tonight right i'm scared that you i'm like just pulling us over because we're the only one on the road I'm like random <laughs> but thank you <laughs> it was like four o'clock in the morning we was coming yeah. back from florida yeah to catch speeders <laughs> but here that's a different police patrol that controls the speed on the autobahn so you're not out here to catch speeding cars what's your mission on right. the autobahn 
Ja, bei der Autobahnpolizei sind wir hauptsächlich mit der Verkehrsunfallaufnahme betraut. Okay. Äh, natürlich kontrollieren wir auch Fahrzeuge. Wir gucken, ob die Fahrzeugführer äh, die nötigen Fahrerlaubnisse haben, ob die Alkohol getrunken haben, ob die vielleicht Drogen genommen haben. Wir haben hier besonders auf der Autobahn internationalen Verkehr. Wir haben viel mit Güterverkehr auch mhm. zu tun. Among the international traffic is a truck from Poland, which attracts the officer's attention. They quickly react to remove it from the road and bring it to a spot where routine vehicle checks are taking place. After reviewing the driver's papers, checking his freight and conducting a urine test, it turns out that he was indeed in violation of a few traffic laws. Er hat keine Lenk- und Ruhezeiten. Auf den Lenk- und Ruhezeiten vermerkt er auch, wo er gestartet ist, wo er angekommen ist, sein Kilometerstand und so weiter, damit man das alles nachvollziehen kann. Das kann man in dem Fall nicht und das ist schon ziemlich schwerwiegend im Güterverkehr. A potentially costly mistake for this truck driver. in a traffic violation mm -hmm, and now they gotta run all checks definitely that's mm. why i was always the designated driver yeah, yeah i'd yeah. rather me be the driver than one of my college friends baby because what mm. you rather give it all with you heard that yeah yeah mm -mm. Uh, how's everybody in the car tonight man have anybody else been drinking I'm, no we just trying to get where we're going man look i don't got some it. stories don't, don't i'm so it. happy that mm. everybody just safe lord right for drivers under 21 there is a zero alcohol tolerance policy after that, drivers with a blood alcohol level from 0.5 are considered unfit for the road. Ah, uh, that's a good one. Also, here we have nothing else. Yay! <laughs> Back on the highway, we're heading out on the next mission, and once again, very fast. Beispielsweise die Geschwindigkeit fahren sie in den USA gar nicht, ne? Nein. We reach 219 kilometers per hour. That's 136 miles per hour. I feel bad for the people that are trying to get out of the way. There's debris on the Autobahn. Officer Hartung performs a maneuver to stop the traffic behind us so his partner can remove it safely. Now that I do agree with, bro. You know how many logs or something would fall off of a truck and mm -hmm. people just have to drive around it? Mm. There's no patrol where so people dangerous. need to, like, and, and half the time the pedestrians will be the ones who will stop the car, run in the street, grab the brick or whatever's in it. Like, mm -hmm. okay, if it's a pothole, we can't fix that. Can't fix it. We need y'all, the cuffs and all that to do that. But right. when it comes <laughs> to like wood and bricks and stuff like that, yeah, like, we, I, I think it's important for police officers to catch that and get it off the road. Yeah, the worst. Debris is a bag just flying. Oh my god. I just be praying for Bro, the simplest thing, bro, a bag. A bag. Hitting that windshield. The wipers Can't ain't gonna see. do it. Bro. Aww. The wipers ain't even your friend at the either. <laughs> As you know, there's this big debate in Germany about whether or not Hold on, okay, before we get to the debate, what is the maneuver that they do to let y'all know that they need to do something? Because I saw everybody Everybody knew what was going on. Yeah. There, what maneuver would they do here? For my ex for here? Mm-hmm. Oh. All I know, if they get in front of us, we all gonna be like that. <laughs> but we ain't gonna know that they trying to stop something. Right, we just gonna all hit that, you know, the speed limit was yeah. supposed to be. Yeah. And we all oh, gonna just be trailing each other. Lights. Their lights. And slow the traffic down? I've never yeah. experienced that, though. I always I ran so. into that type of I moment. think I... I believe that I went through something like that when they had like construction and they had to reroute us. They would have somebody on the road or something. They have somebody on the road with a vest. Yeah. Oh. I'm, the usually, lights would get our attention. That's probably. What usually, yeah, well, if I'm not mistaken, what they do is they will park the car, and um, when they when they see the lights on on the side of the road, we instantly know to get over. 
right? And then mm-hmm. they start putting mm-hmm. the cones to the destination. They and get then out they start and they to, start doing it. Right. There you go. And then <laughs> they start pointing and stuff. Not to have a standard speed limit. So as police officers and as... Oh, a question. As you know, there's this big debate in Germany about whether or not to have a standard speed limit. So as police officers and as fast drivers, are you for or against a general speed limit in the country? Also meine private Meinung dazu ist, dass ich ein Geschwindigkeitslimit auf Autobahnen nicht schlecht finde. Privat fahre ich selbst nicht besonders schnell. Und auch im Dienst zeigt sich immer wieder, dass Unfälle häufig mit zu hoher Geschwindigkeit zu tun haben. The speed limit debate in Germany has been going on for decades. About 65% of the entire Autobahn network currently has no limit. Well, that was more excitement than I bargained for. What impressed me the most about these officers is how quickly they reacted to the action on the Autobahn and also how cool they remained under pressure. I definitely have a renewed respect for the work they do. I hope you enjoyed this video. Heard you- that, man. Make sure you guys go follow and check out. Um, one thing that I can say, when you drive another speed like that in Germany, if you miss your exit, don't try to catch it. <laughs> don't don't try to slam the brakes. The Just keep going. You might have to do a whole turnaround. Mm-hmm. I learned in the hallway when I first moved out here. Mm-hmm, I'm man, sure you did. Missing them exits. Down here is 20 minutes. <laughs> Gotta take the whole turn. <laughs> oh, oh man. Listen. But yeah, bro. That's different. That's different. Yeah. Okay, so I was looking at the Autobahn and I was looking at like the highways and things, and it looks similar to some of our highways in the South. Agreed. And I'm just sitting there in jealousy. Because in Louisiana, we have, like, the the speed limit. Okay, it's been a while, but the speed limit is, like, 70, I think. Max? Yeah. Max? Um, yeah. On the yeah. highway. Well, it says 70, but... But, but, but. in <clears throat> Dallas, the, the minimum is 65. They say minimum. Mm-hmm. I didn't start seeing a minimum speed limit until I moved to Texas. Mm-hmm. Of course, driving on road trips and other places, but... Minimum. Do you remember that one day we was driving? Um, was was like in the middle of nowhere, just about. Okay. And the speed limit was going to 40, 60, 40, 60, 40, 40. 60. You don't remember that? Okay. Oh, I, we yeah, was yeah. driving through some back roads. Mm-hmm. We was driving through back roads. And they had officers back there too. So if you was in any, you know, wrongdoing of Listen. any of those speed limits, it's like, yo, I didn't see it. He yeah. caught me off guard. Northern Louisiana. Yeah, that's crazy. I, we, you don't experience that nowhere else, probably. Baby, you ain't got to worry about me nah. doing no speed in northern Louisiana. Because, baby, them cops are going to come behind you and drive the whole time you're on that road, right yeah. behind you. Running everything as you got. As soon as you go up a little bit, they... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Ain't got time. But that I looks see. fun, being on the Audubon. Facts. I still <laughs> got to experience it, though. I need that. <laughs> yes, he do. By himself. All right, y'all. We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Peace.